Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell for future uploads. And to my returning subscribers, welcome back. Today we're reviewing a new watch that I purchased and did not initially know was an homage to an Omega or Omega, depending what part of the world you're from. And it is this Lucian Picard Reference 1673A4 in silver with a brown strap. And before we discuss and review this watch though, I wanted to talk a bit about the Omega watch that it pays homage to first. In 1994, Omega released a series of watches that paid homage to their classic design from 1894, and that was to commemorate 100 years of being in business. And that model was simply named the 1894, and it featured different finishes ranging from stainless steel to gold and even to rose gold. It was powered by a caliber 269 movement, which is a hand winding design, and also featured a sapphire exhibition case back. And the 1894 features a sector dial design with crosshair prints, applied Roman markers, second indices, and a small seconds hand at the six o'clock position. And the Omega 1894 is 36 mm in diameter, has sapphire crystal, and would have come with an 18 mm alligator leather strap. Now onto our Lucian Picard watch. So the Lucian Picard has a silver toned stainless steel case with brown, genuine leather straps. The leather strap is 20 millimeters wide and has a standard stainless steel buckle, which is signed with the Lucian Picard logo. And there's a fixed silver toned stainless steel bezel and silver toned dial with blue leaf style shaped hands. The bluing appears to be painted or applied chemically. And there are Roman numeral applied markers at 12, 2, 4, 8, and 10 o'clock, just like the Omega. There's also minute markers around the outer rim, and there's even a subdial at 6 o'clock that features the small second hands in the same fashion. And there is an exhibition of the movement from the front of the watch, and the watch also features an exhibition case back showing the Seagull TY-2706 movement at work. Now this automatic movement provides the watch with a generous 42 hours of power reserve and can be hand wound as well. On the time graph, we see that this particular movement I have is chugging along at 21,600 vibrations per hour and has an average accuracy of plus 14 seconds per day, which isn't great, but isn't terrible, so that's fine by me. The case diameter is 40 millimeters and has a domed hardened mineral crystal both on the front and mineral crystal as well on the back. The case thickness is 11.5 millimeters and the lug to lug height is 45 millimeters. The sides of the case are brushed stainless steel and the lugs arch downward to allow this watch to be worn by many, much smaller wrists I would assume without any issue of being too tall or too long. Now water resistance on this watch is 50 meters and there is a Lucian Picard signed push pull crown that does not hack on the seconds hand when engaged in position one. And time adjustment is easy and smooth so there are no complaints here. This watch can be found in many color combinations as shown on this photo, but I opted for the silver version as I feel it will allow for more flexibility when paired with a leather or crocodile strap in many colors, and I'm thinking black, brown, or even blue. So let's go ahead and summarize and discuss price. So the pros of this watch are that I like the simplistic design and lack of a date window. I feel the date window, no matter where positioned on this watch, would have looked out of place. And the subdial being slightly smaller and positioned slightly higher than the Omega version looks better in my opinion. I like the domed mineral crystal look and I appreciate the decorated seagull movement for this price point of watch. It's classic and dressy. I feel it checks all the right boxes for an homage of a rare Omega watch that many likely have not heard of or are able to easily obtain. Now for the cons, they're the same ones you're probably thinking of yourself. Lack of sapphire crystal, non-hacking on the seconds hand, and minimal water resistance. That all being said, I really think that this watch is a great value for being only $120. And you can purchase one of these for yourself by using my affiliate links in the description below. But let me know, what do you think? Is this something you'd consider adding to your collection even if you had not known about the Omega 1894 previously? Just the design of this itself? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for checking out my channel. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and I'll look forward to seeing you at the next one. Take care.